or if we avoid it, or if it's so painful, we never go there again. And what I told my kids this morning, the same thing I've been sharing with my tribe and my the people that work with me is 2020 had some struggles, had some tough times. But if we just ignore those struggles or blame it on the year or blame it on the president or blame it on the economy or blame it on COVID, then it was pointless. It wasn't given to us as a gift. No matter how hard things were, there's a there's gold in the pile of crap or poop, whatever you want to call it, but we have to identify it and acknowledge it. And when we do that, that's when we carry momentum. So for example, if there's a line in the sand between 2020, 2021, what went sideways in 2020? What went wrong? Who let you down? But how can you analyze it over this week and say, yes, that sucked. But when you throw away all the crap, what gold nugget can come from that? And that gold nugget, that whole experience, what I believe is you leave it in 2020. You don't let what was wrong. You don't let the, the emotions, you don't let that feeling of feeling like a failure or an imposter or you procrastinated or it didn't work out or someone let you down. Why not just let that stay in 2020 and go away? You don't have to carry that across the line. But what you do carry across the line are the lessons you learn. How did you grow? What sucked that you, you powered through anyway? And that's how we build momentum.